Hello, and welcome back for another wonderful episode of Volchi Reviews. Today, um, I'm going to roll out this one. It's a classic, and the fans might love it. Whoa, look at that. It's a classic. The Miller High Life. The, the champagne of beers. Look at that. This is just a classic can. Um, I think I, I found it somewhere. And, you know, it's nice and cold. And, honestly, I gotta say, High Life is just great. But first, because I do, I do want to make sure that the audience understands, this is an alcoholic beverage. It's a beer. Um, you know, no, no shame on anyone else's YouTube game. But I gotta say, just in case I looked up other videos of the High Life review, and, and no one said drink responsibly. That's, like, the number one thing with like alcohol commercials and beverage stuff is they always say drink responsibly because you really have to. You, you don't want to go overboard. Not saying you can really go overboard with the high life, but you can always get lost in the sauce. And um, no matter what the sauce is, there's always a chance to get lost. So without further ado, um, let's just crack this baby open. I just want to, I mean, we can do it on cam, but I just want to do the classic, I want to get the microphone real deep in there. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's dive in. Oh, got a, got a wee bit of foam there. Let's just, uh, put that right in view. Let's just watch that foam up. You know, that's real nice. Just showing it off. It, it might've got a little, a little wild there, but you know, looks like, looks like the foam is stopped now. And also look at these colors, a nice cream, a soft gold. And then just that, that outstanding red. As you know, this playmat underneath it here, the Magic Fest Columbus. I probably just soiled the entire thing by opening this beverage on there. But I gotta say, if we look, we've got accents of cream, we've got the nice red, and there's, there's just plenty of gold along this fence here. It, it's great. I gotta say, these two, a match made in heaven. High Life and the Brazen Borrower playmat from Magic Fest Columbus. Man, who remembers going to places? That was a good time. Well, before this beer gets warm enough to drink, let's, uh, now that we've, the foam is settled, so to speak, uh, let, let's have a sip. Hey, you know what? Cheers. Man, you know, gosh, you can hear it. Let's just crack this baby. Let's crack her wide open. Look at that. Just swirling and bubbling around. Oh, the foam. Actually, can I get a close-up of that? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Just a little shake and a shimmy. And she's she's really foaming right up. And I gotta say, I absolutely understand why they call it champagne. It's so smooth. It's so refreshing. Let, let me just let me just pause for a moment and just. Ah. That was nice. That sip literally was like one of those nice soft fleece blankets, which I plan to review on Vulture Reviews in the future. But man, it just it just coats your mouth. It's like a nice soft drink. It's a refreshing sipper that you can drink tons of. And and if we look at the back here, what's the ABV? Oh, 4.6. Oh my goodness. You could you could crush at least quite a few of these, uh, depending on your body weight and your mass and your alcohol tolerance. Um, be sure to take those things into account when drinking. But other than that, man, we have here quite the delicious beverage, Miller High Life, the champagne of beers. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Oh, here, let's, let's foam it up a little bit. Maybe get another sip here. Hey, cheers to another sip, guys. You know what? Stay hydrated so good um and, and like i said i know what you guys are thinking you guys are gonna say but volchi volchi reviews how are you gonna review this beer when you know it's just like uh what it's it's a mass-produced corn beer what's going on here I'll tell you what with the high life here i know it's kind of interesting because it, it's it's just a corn beer it's just champagne. We're just popping bottles of bubbly. But the, the truth is, 
the raw, unedited truth that isn't this video, because I'm going to edit this slightly. I'm going to add like an outro and and uh, some videos of some cats, maybe some B-roll. Although I'm pretty sure Frank Ocean said he doesn't let anyone else shoot the B-roll. So he's the only one shooting his B-roll. But back to the beer. You know, when it's this delicious and refreshing, the one thing I got to say is, is it consistent? With a beer like this, is it consistent? And... My answer to that is, well, yeah, it's mass produced. Of course it's consistent. You buy, you, you know, these, this can probably came in like a 24 pack. And you know what? I bet I could sit there, not in one day, because I'm going to be drinking responsibly, but in, in a certain amount of time, I could drink every one of those cans. I could even, I can even, heck, I'll pour them all into one big, one, one five gallon bucket. And they probably all taste the same. And that's that's what you get with these mass produced beers is you get consistency and they're affordable, they're cheap. If you're just like, "Oi mate, you want me to come over? Maybe maybe bring bring some brews, bring some beers." And they're like, "Yeah. You don't want to ask what kind of beers to bring. You just bring High Life. You bring High Life to any event, whether or not you drink or not, which also drink responsibly. Um but, but you bring this to any event where people are going to be having drinks and someone, I guarantee right now, on, on the Brazen Bar or Playmat, this is a guarantee, someone there will drink a High Life. You know, gosh, I'm talking so much, I gotta get another sip. Oh, there it is. Like, let's get a big, a big double-fisted slam for how delicious this is. And by delicious, I mean refreshing, delightful. You know, I'm pretty sure Bill Murray one time said, for a relaxing time, um, something about drinking Santori, Suntory, which I do respect. I mean, what a, what a solid movie, uh, if you're into that. But you know what Bill Murray didn't say? At least I don't think he said this. And you know what? If Bill Murray ever sees this and, and wants to correct me, you know... I'll hop in a chat. I'll call him up. He can call me up. I'll give him my number. Bill Murray can call me if he never said this. But I gotta say, Bill Murray never said that Miller High Life sucks. And I gotta say, it really doesn't. It's really just good. I don't want to review this as, like, this for something else. I really want to review this as a solo thing. I want to review this as what Miller High Life is. You know what? It's cheap, it's good, and it makes people happy. Um, not to suggest that, like, obviously, like, alcohol and beer is the key to making people happy. But, as this beer would have it, it's a nice low ABV. It's a nice social drinker. You can you can have one or two, three or four, again, depending on those, those statistics, those features within your body that allow you to drink alcohol. Um, I hope you have a liver. Um, but yeah, depending on those, it really would seem that High Life, at least, and I'll say it here, in my opinion, I must say, this is, a, this is a real, this is a real cake winner. This champagne, right there, champagne of De La Beers. Um, it's a cake winner. It's a fan favorite. Um, you know what? In, in the comments below, go ahead and... And why don't you just throw in the comments below what, what your favorite easy drinker is, what your favorite daily sipper, your, your party grabber, what's your go-to, I'm not going to say this is garbage beer, what's your go-to beer that you're just like, wow, you know, I wonder if Volchi would review this, you know, sometimes you just got to stay hydrated, drink responsibly, have a few sips, you know, uh, my good friend, and, and I'll do a quick shout out here, my good friend, Rapid Reiner. One day, I was I was in his vicinity, and he said to me, I, I couldn't, I, I almost couldn't believe it, but he walked up to me, and, and Rapid Reiner said, you know, he said, one sip! And when he said that, you know what I did? I grabbed a beverage, and I just, well, I took one sip. <sighs> now that, that's a sip. And, and, it, and it's a sip that I, I, I'm happy to have on this day, 
and hopefully many more days in the future. So if you or someone you know is just looking for a good sip, a good sip of champagne, a good sip of the high life, um, you know, buy them, buy them a case. They, they sell them in bottles, cans. So overall, uh, with the high life, I gotta say, um, I give it, you know, I gotta find a rating system for the Volchies. Not to say that, like, everything is inherently five, five Volchies out of five. You know what? I, I just want to say the high life is great. I give it, I give it five Pia's. That's, that's P-I-A. I give it five Pia's out of five. And, and that's a personal opinion. And if you disagree, I want to see it in the comments. How many Pia's would you give the high life? You know, I'm going to say what every other YouTuber says. Why don't you go ahead and smash that uninstall button. Uninstall your operating systems. Because, you know, after spending this much time watching this content, I gotta say, I really appreciate it. And if you made it this far in the video, well, you know, you deserve a high life. And you know what? You deserve three sips. Cheers, y'all. Have a good evening. Have a good day. Have a good whatever time it is for you. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope to I hope to entertain some people. I hope to get people going. I hope to be provocative. So, again, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Have a high life. Bring.